Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this AutoFix 7610. This is uh, their latest uh, scanner. The guys at AutoFix were nice enough to send me this scanner. And um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about some of the features that it has. Okay, it says uh, service reset, throttle adaptation. EPB reset DPF function also in the back here it says uh, basic functions version information read fault codes erase fault codes read data stream basic settings adaptation access author authorization special functions service reset throttle learning electronic parking brake replace brake pads Steering angle learning, injector adaptation, tire pressure reset, battery registration, DPF function, and uh, over here it says OBD2 functions, read codes, erase codes, IM readiness, data stream, EVAP system test, vehicle information. So I'm going to be connecting this to my, uh, my buddy's uh, Volkswagen car. <clears throat> and um, we're going to, you know, check out some of the other stuff that it has, guys. So this is a nice little uh, OBD scanner. And also it says here, professional scanner for Volkswagen Audi, Audi, Audi vehicles. So this is it, guys. 7610 by Autofix. And it says multi-system scanner. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go and... Um, Go in my buddy's car now and plug it in, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm going to be um, testing out the uh, AutoFix scanner with this uh, 2014 Volkswagen Passat. So let's get to it. I'm going to be checking out, see what kind of features this uh, auto fix scanner has and um, take a look at if there's any codes in this car so this is a friend of mine's car guys and um, he's nice enough to let me um, check out the scanner on his car so let me get the scanner out of my book bag So this is it guys. So auto fix 7610. So I opened the package already. Whoa. So as you can see, it has this nice uh, rubber case here. In case you drop it, it won't damage it. As you can see, you can take it off, but I wouldn't take it off. Um, it has a nice pretty long cord to be honest wow nice and um, it also brings the uh, instruction booklet which it was just here oh it just fell in between the seats down here so I will have to get that later guys let me see if I can reach it okay here we go And it brings a US cable also. This is the manual, guys. It brings a US cable. But, um, let me see if it fell somewhere around here. I just had it here. So let's plug this up. Let me find the US port. Hold on, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I turned on the key and I plugged it in. So this is how it looks. So we're going to go to um, where it says OBD. OBD2, guys. You just press OK. 
it's gonna check out the system here we go everything is off the car is off so let's see here let's go to um, read codes see if there's any codes here okay as you can see there's two codes here ECU 1 and ECU 2 just click OK okay so it says it has no codes okay so let's go back let's go back to um, read codes again just want to see what this is here okay so let's go to I am readiness the drive cycle let's go back I'm gonna do this with the car on let me see something vehicle information let's go back I'm gonna turn on the car now guys Let's go to data stream. You can check the live data here. Okay, as you can see, engine temperature 98, calculated low value 26.3, engine RPM 830, vehicle speed zero because the car is in park. Your airflow rate for mass airflow sensor. Let me see if there's anything else here. Okay. Add some absolute throttle position. Okay. Time since engine start 48 seconds, 49 seconds. Okay. Let's see what else. This is all live data stream, guys. Your catalytic temperature, bank one, sensor one tells you all the uh, temperatures uh, number of warm-ups since DTC clear 227 oxygen sensor voltage let me see what else accelerator pedal position ambient air temperature fuel injection timing air fuel rate Wow command throttle actuator control very nice gives you a little bit of everything guys so you cannot beat this guys let's go to select systems okay tells you that engine rpm vehicle speed i guess that's if you want to just select each one let's go back let's go to um see what else this has I am readiness. Okay. Everything seems okay with this car. Misfire monitor, fuel systems monitor, comprehensive component monitor, NMHC, Knox after treatment monitor. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go here. Everything seems okay, guys, as you can see there. Okay, okay, okay. No problems at all. And this car has no available codes. And also, guys, um, this also works like if you want to take the um, turn off the, the check engine light on a different vehicle other than Volkswagen. It also works because I tried it on my Toyota yesterday and um, it cleared the check engine light. So it just doesn't do some stuff on other cars, but other things it does. But this is mainly for Volkswagen and um, I'm going to show you right here. It says it here. You see here? It says supports all OBD2 protocols. Uh, Canada J1850 W 
PWM J1850 VPW ISO 9141 and KWP2000 and all Volkswagen Diagnostic Protocols 7610 could test, could test vehicles for Volkswagen, for Audi, for seat, for Skoda, it detects systems, engine, ABS, airbags, transmission, radio, climate control, instruments, immobilizer, and so on. So, there you go, guys. So, this is a very nice little scanner, guys, to have. ECU2. Okay. Let's go back so like I said guys you have uh, data live data so you cannot beat that engine RPM vehicle speed all data stream okay It even has for EVAP system test. Okay, this one is not supported. Okay. So, there you go, guys. This is the uh, 7610 by Autofix, guys. Multi system scanner. So if you're looking for a oh, and it also tests uh, electronic parking brake, the battery. Let's go to battery real quick. Okay, turn off the engine. It tells you the instructions and everything, so it's very easy. Okay, current voltage is 12.91. Hit OK to start detection. Please start engine. Okay, so let's start the engine. As you can see, it has a graph. Off was 12.89 volts, and and um, current voltage is 13.8687. It just fluctuates, but it's very good, guys. So there you go for your battery test. Very good scanner, guys gives you live numbers and um, everything that you will need is pretty much in here guys so like I said auto fix 7610 great scanner I definitely recommend it it has a nice case pretty uh, pretty nice and it fits anywhere guys you can just throw it in the glove box it doesn't take up much space and um, it's very nice guys so like share subscribe and um, I'm also going to put a link in the description where you can get this at uh, Amazon. And um, I'll upload that to the uh, video also. So check it out, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and God bless, guys.